Hi there, Doug Stimon with IT Creations. This system, the Dell EMC PowerEdge R6515 server, was released a few short years ago, but still new to us, so enough justification for a short review of the guts of this system. It offers a 1U form factor with a few hybrid storage conditions for SFF or LFF form factors. It has a 1U chassis with a single AMD Epic CPU and can be configured with up to 3 terabytes of memory, plus a few other Dell-centric bits like the optional BOSS and IDSDM. Let's take a look. This platform is designed to work with a single second or third generation AMD EPIC processor. The compact design at 1U means you can probably squeeze this sucker in just about anywhere. With only a single CPU, it's also designed to provide a reduced total cost of ownership because, let's face facts, CPUs are expensive. It's designed for virtualization, hyperconverged infrastructures, and for network functions virtualization. If you're wondering what that new phrase is, network functions virtualization, it means the network functions have been abstracted. Things that used to live on a separate appliance, like the firewall or data encryption, can now be moved to a virtual server, reducing the need for additional hardware and equipment. There are a few storage options on the front of the system. A 3.5 inch chassis with four storage bays supporting SAS or SATA storage devices. A 2.5 inch SFF design with either eight SATA SAS drives, plus the option for two NVMe drives in the media bay, or a 10 bay version that supports 10 2.5 inch NVMe storage devices, but only PCI 3.0. Of course, if you do install SAS drives, a discrete HPA RAID controller is required and can offer data transmission rates of 12 gigabits per second for SAS and 6 gigabits per second for SATA storage. All drive configurations support hot plug drives, but there are two different ways to do it. An orderly removal is when you tell the system you're going to remove the drives. The surprise removal or insertion is just that, no warning and only supported on certain operating systems. The 3.5 inch bay chassis and 8 bay 2.5 inch chassis also have an optional optical drive above drive bay one. Are you interested in the Dell EMC PowerEdge R6515 server? Because if you are, then for a limited time, you can save up to $500 off a system listed on our site or one that you configure that's valued at $5,000 or more. It's easy. Just hit that link to start shopping. And when you're ready to make a purchase, just mention this video. Save $500 off or save nothing. You decide. Personally, I think I'd like to save $500 off. $500 off. The left control panel has a bank of status LED indicators for drive status, temperature, electrical, memory, and PCIe, plus a system health and system ID button LED. Depending on the chassis configuration, the status button ID indicator may be paired with integrated Dell Remote Access Controller QuickSync 2 wireless indicator. The optional QuickSync 2 enables administrators to quickly connect to the system using the Open Manage mobile app from a smartphone or tablet for at chassis management of the system over Bluetooth. It can provide aggregate hardware and firmware inventory, plus a range of other features. It's a slick little option. Depending on your chassis configuration, there's also a VGA port to connect a display. On the right, there's the power on button, USB port, plus an iDirect Direct LED indicator and a micro AB USB iDirect Direct port. Using either the USB or micro USB port, you can connect a laptop or tablet physically to the system or use the optional quick sync feature to do the same thing wirelessly. On the back of the system, there are two 550 watt platinum PSUs, PCI slots, numbers two and three, plus an optional LOM card slot, offering additional port and connection speeds for network communications. There are two more integrated ethernet slots just to the right providing network connectivity, a dedicated iDRAC port for remote management of the system, and two USB 3.0 ports below that. Next, a serial port and VGA port, plus a system status indicator and a system identification button, which also acts as an iDRAC reset button. Once the cover is removed, you can see a dense layout all shoehorned into that 1U chassis. There are two low profile risers at the rear with a dedicated slot for a mini PowerEdge RAID controller right next to riser 1A. Our unit is outfitted with the mini Perk HBA 330 Gen 9 edition, offering SAS support at 12 gigabits per second with non-RAID or pass-through mode. You will need that mini perk card or one like it if you plan on running SAS drives or if you want more RAID options for your storage than that provided by the software-based S150 SATA RAID controller. If you want quick startup, then you do have the option to install a BOSS, aka a boot-optimized storage subsystem in one of the PCI slots. This unit offers dual slots for M.2 drives. With both drives installed, it offers hardware redundancy in the event one of them dies. 
The system also has a 25 gigabit SFP28 dual port, full height PCI based network card offering super fast network communications. Maybe not 200 gigabit per second, but still much faster than the integrated one gigabit ethernet ports. Just in front of the PCI risers is the CPU with eight memory module slots to either side for a total of 16 active slots. As mentioned, the processor supported as a second generation or third generation AMD Epic series processor. And with support for the third generation Milan processors, administrators also have the option of installing one of the Milan X processors offering 3D vCache technology with triple the cache at 768 megabytes of L3 cache compared to only 256 megabytes on Milan without the X. Both are compatible with the same socket, so good to go. Milan X CPUs are specifically designed for technical computing workloads like computational fluid dynamics, electronic design automation, and finite element analysis, workloads that require intense computing power. There are currently only four options available offering core counts of 16, 24, 32, and 64 cores. A bank of six fans separates the backplane and storage from the motherboard. The backplane is what determines the type of drive supported on the system. We have the 10 bay 2.5 inch chassis, which offers a hybrid backplane with five NVMe storage connectors. Each of the five connectors connects up to two front drive bays to the system board. You also have the option to connect SAS or SATA drives using the SAS SATA cable connections. The four bay 3.5 inch chassis and the eight bay 2.5 inch chassis each have a backplane that is only compatible with SAS or SATA drive formats. So there you have it. The Dell EMC PowerEdge R6515 server offers up to 64 cores of compute power with just a single processor and PCI 4.0 for enhanced IO and NVMe storage support. With a multitude of applications supported by this system, the one u form factor makes it an easy fit in your existing network. Well, that's it for this week, but if you have any questions on this server or any other, post them in the comments section below. And remember, IT Creations carries this server and many others, so use one of those links in the description or maybe one of those links right there to visit IT Creations. Until next time, I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.